Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for June. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. And we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies and messages for the week. Uh, any information can help. So it's always nice to see what the cards want to tell us. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Sun, Major Arcana. We have the Prince of Wands. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So the Sun is a beautiful card. It is glowing. We see the young child here on the horse, standing up, soaking in the rays. In fact, he's radiating, and that's really what the Sun does for us. The sun brings us a sense of happiness, of joy, of inspiration. Uh, it's a card of good health. It's a card of happy relationships. It's feeling good and confident within your life. So Monday's a day to feel good and to feel fresh and to feel vital and to feel the energy that goes along with the sun and to, I think, be appreciative of abundance within your life and to uh, make room to have some fun. Because as this child is standing up on the horse, you know, there's a sense of carefree playfulness when we see the sun in a reading. It just brings that spirit where you want to be outside and where you want to you just want to feel the sun's rays on your, you know, on the back of your neck or, you know, uh, just underneath your feet in the hot sand. So the sun is simply a glorious card because it really is a card of happiness, of success, of doing things that are fulfilling for you. Relationships work smoothly. Um, again, the sun brings our life force and I always think that when we're able to capture that light and we let it fill us up, then we're able to send it back out into the world. And that is, you know, everyone can share their light. Therefore, everyone can be a light worker, so to speak. When you give your light and your kindness and your love out to the world, it comes back. So a beautiful start to, uh, Start with this sun, sun card. So then we have the Prince of Wands. And in this illustration, we see the Prince here. He's got the uh, wand in his hand. He's like straight ahead charging. He's in motion. The horse is moving it out. And there's a real sense of movement. And there's a sense of being active and can do being a can do type of person so monday's a day to do things get things done projects return emails make phone calls have some fun but it's really a sense of of um being very active and and taking charge so whether this relates to meetings or, you know, uh, papers that you have to write, you know, there's a sense here of get moving and make it happen. You almost get the sense that he's leading a charge somewhere or he's jumping right in. And so instead of being a bystander, be active. And whether your activity is simply, uh, if you were uh, for example, if you were thinking about not running or not going for a jog, that maybe you turn that around and put on your shoes, tell yourself you're going to run for about five minutes, and you may end up with a longer run. So, you know, it's a card of action, of using your, um, your skills and your energy and your dynamic energy, I should say, and doing something. So uh, Monday is do something. <laughs> uh, 
And then we have the Six of Pentacles. And in this Six of Pentacles, a very interesting illustration. We see the wise older person here handing out uh, something to the hands reaching out toward him. This is a card of duality in tarot. This is a card where there's two perspectives, those that are asking for the help and those that are in a position to, to give. So what I like in this illustration is that he seems just like an everyday man. And it's a wonderful message because everyone can be of service. Everyone can help. It doesn't have to be giving tons of money, but it can be giving your time. It can be giving an assist. If someone needs to, you know, bring things to the, to the dump that they've been decluttering their house and they need some help, you know, to offer that as being of service. So to be of service and to be generous and to be kind certainly is fulfilling and makes you feel good. And by the same token, if you are in a position where you are in need and you need help, you need something to get you over the hump, then ask for the help. Hopefully your friends or family can help you. And if and if they are unable to help you, then there should be organizations or community organizations that may be able to provide you some counsel or get you in a better place. So for Monday, it's a day of happiness, I would say, of joy, of the glowing sun, the radiance and the, the energy and the vitality you're going to have plenty of energy and vitality to be active and to do things. Projects, leadership, fun, you know, whatever it may be. There's a clear message which is to get involved and go do it. Don't sit and think about it. Just go put your shoes on and make it happen. And at the same time, there's always this sense of being mindful and being aware of helping, how can I be of assistance? Maybe it's just a phone call to a friend. Um, and if you feel that you align with the hands reaching out, then uh, let someone know how you're doing and hopefully they will respond in kindness to you. So a very nice reading for Monday to start the week. Let's take a look at the numerology. Okay. So we've got 19, 20, 26, and that reduces to eight. And eight is about your power, your personal power. It's also about recognition and accomplishment. And so when I see the sun, I also think of recognition as well. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card and this, I think, is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. Perfection. So, interesting card, perfection. And sometimes the, the idea and the concept of perfection hurts us more than it helps us. A friend of mine once said to me, because I, in my earlier years, was a perfectionist, and it would drive me crazy not to have things done perfectly. And ultimately, as you get older, you realize that there's a point where that doesn't help you. It's too much. It's too much to try to be perfect. Do your best. Give it your best shot. Give it your best effort. And that's that. But to prolong projects or even trying to write the perfect memo to your boss that's taking you forever, ultimately, uh, you know, the, the length of time isn't going to assist. So, you know, how I view perfection is I, uh, per I, I view it as something that 
might stand in the way of progress. So I was also um, uh, nice examples from Casey Neistat, and he's a big vlogger on YouTube, a gazillion subscribers, and he was doing a daily vlog for about a year and a half. And he says, you have to let go of the idea of perfection, because if you feel that way, then uh, you know, if I, I would never be able to publish a video because they weren't perfect. They were good, but they weren't perfect. And you just have to let go of that ideal. So it's always an interesting discussion for me personally to talk about perfection, which is strive to do the best job that you can do and your team and your personal life or whatever it may be, uh, give it your best go and take it for, you know, go from there. But to worry and to stress and to make yourself crazy with being a perfectionist and looking for perfection uh, can lead to, I think, a lot of unnecessary stress and um, exhaustion too. So that's my little spiel for today. Sorry about that. Let me know what you think about perfection in the comments. I'd be interested to hear your point of view. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care.